Greg Cooper. Back to the comment section. I'm Greg Cooper. I am so excited about today. I'm actually smiling, and it is genuine because we have a talent cleanser today. The episodes of the last couple of weeks, they have been, you know, fun, but they're heavy hitting. We're dealing with like gross, disgusting cultural stuff. They've all done really well. You guys have been super active in the comment section. So I just want to give everybody a sliver of hope because my TikTok algorithm has been making me very happy as of late. I want to show That's you dope. some of these videos. But before you get into it, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. So you might be thinking, Brett, oh my God, are you going to be showing us videos of koalas? No. Oh, dang it. Well, I'm out of here. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> That's not what my TikTok looks like. That is what my Instagram Explore page looks like. The other day, literally, I think the entire front page was all koala videos. So that's what I watch in my spare time. But on TikTok, usually it's that's videos what's, of like that's deranged what's up. people and crazy teachers and children shaving off their heads and becoming a different gender. But wow, in the last stuff. couple of weeks, I have seen so yeah, many that, 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 the woke stuff, man. That, that stuff is wild. Indubitably wild. Page with all the neo pronouns and all that TikTok, crazy ish. Usually it's videos of like deranged people and crazy teachers and children shaving off over their emotional heads people gender, but easily over the last triggered. Of weeks, I have seen so many videos of people, specifically women, pushing back against gender ideology and their erasure and people's attempts to basically shame us into silence and being genderless blogs. And they are doing so. I think in a really kind way, in an empathetic way, but also standing their ground and saying, like, we have not come this far in, like, traditional feminism and fighting for equality to now be told that we are nothing and our gender can easily be just, like, picked up by a random man who puts on a dress. And I am here for it. We're going to watch some of these videos. We're going to be hopeful. This is a white pill on the comment section. All right, we're going to start off with this one. I had a neighbor confront me for using the woman's restroom. I lived here for four and a half years. Everyone should know that I'm a trans woman. You know what, I'm just gonna say it because I'm afraid that if nobody says anything and stands up for this type of behavior, then scared women and girls are gonna be the ones paying the price for this. Like, where are we going to draw the line? Because the idea of a grown ass man walking in after my daughter to the locker room or to the restroom or whatever is horrifying. Scary, bro. Shit for every single parent out there. It all this looks like to me is a way to push predatory boundaries. The biological women's rights are being challenged. Yeah, by the idea of a grown ass man walking in after my daughter to the locker room restroom or whatever horrifies me and it should for every single parent out there it all this looks like to me is a way to push predatory boundaries the biological women's right to privacy is being challenged by this ideology and society is trying <coughs> this to become ideology. so inclusive all while simultaneously excluding and disregarding the real fears and boundaries that biological women have and that's because salute to that chick man straight up there. salute to that chick that was just talking bro straight up there. For, for intrepidly speaking out against the BS that's transpiring right now. They're, they're trying to eat. Yeah. Bruh. Yeah, it, bruh. It's, it's sad, man. It's sad what's going on right now. The, 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 the hate for biological women, bro. The odium is crazy. No understanding, no, nothing. This bro. makes us feel awful the way that you're talking about us, the way you're imitating us. They just don't care about what we have to say. So, this video has 465,000 likes. That's not even views, that is likes. It was short, it was to the point. When we talked about <coughs> the bathroom ordeal and just don't care about what we have to say. So, this video has 465,000 likes. That's not even views, that is likes. It was wrong. This makes us feel the way that you're talking about us, the way you're imitating us. They just don't care about what we have to say. So this video has 465,000 likes. That's, That's a lot of views. likes, y'all. It was short, it was to the point. When we talked about the bathroom ordeal 
and that you know men being allowed in women's spaces. We're not saying that every trans person is a predator. That's wrong. That is not what it is. Allowing right. men into women's spaces, opening that door, is just opening up the opportunity for predatory behavior. Mm-hmm. Women and their children and young girls should feel comfortable going into should locker rooms, safe. going into public bathrooms yeah. safely and privately, not having to worry about some guy being a creep next to them. Yeah, and obviously that could happen anyway because people who want to be creeps will always find ways to be creeps mm-hmm. and be criminals, but we are now socially saying this is acceptable. It is fine. And if a man is in the stall next to you, it's probably because obviously he is transgender. You can't say anything. And then if you you know you say anything about you're it, a you're, bigot. A bigot. you're intolerant. Okay. You're acrimonious. You're this, you're that, you're hateful, you're problematic, you're toxic, these slanderous words, these labels that bi- a lot of biological women get that a plenitude of biological women get. next to you, it's probably because obviously he is transgender, you can't say anything, and then if you, you, know, you say anything about it, you're going to be labeled as a bigot and a transphobe. That's wrong. The excoriation. We should not be afraid to say, I am uncomfortable, I feel unsafe. Somebody commented and said, I am done. He is transgender, you can't say anything, and then you if you, you, know, you say speak anything out. about it, you're going to be labeled as a bigot and a transphobe. That's wrong. We should not be afraid to say, I am uncomfortable. Should never I be afraid, should be intrepid. And said, I am done accepting the delusion. We merely accepted ourselves out of existence, which is a great way to put it. All right, here's another video. I don't want to be referred to as a womb owner. I don't want to be referred to as a pregnant person. I don't want to be referred to as a bleeder. I don't want to be referred to as a birthing person. I don't want to be referred to as a chest feeder. I don't want to be referred to as a cis woman. I am just a woman. I see a lot of comments and tweets from people and they say, well, we're not asking you to say these terms. Like, it's fine if you want to be a bigot. If you do use those terms, then you're being accepting, you're being a good person. But not everybody's saying that. Like, no, this is coming from doctors. Have you seen the videos of literal OBGYN saying, can we stop using the word mother? Can we stop? Using the word breastfeeding, you're a birthing person and a chest feeder. You're not a woman, you're just a person who menstruates. Stop boiling us down to just pieces of our anatomy. I am so much more than the way that my body inherently works. And I don't know why that's That's controversial to say. We have worked so hard to get to a point in our society where women are not objectified. I mean, you know, sort of. And now we are literally letting them re-objectify us once again in a different way. But we are still an object. We are still a utility. Like I saw this comment under this one, and this girl named Audrey said, like, why do all of the inclusive words sound so dehumanizing? It's because they're objectifying us again. We're being pushed aside. Another girl said, the fact that they are trying to make us seem like we are being offensive by feeling this way, it is sick. Another woman said, Crazy, no, in bro. the name of inclusivity, Crazy. they are I'll be back, I'll be back.